welcome, Fiddle Club. So this week we are working on a wonderful reel that's called The Wind That Shakes the Barley. You may be familiar with the fantastic but very sad movie by the same name. I promise this tune's going to be super fun, and it is actually one that just flies on the fiddle. It's a really enjoyable one to play. Some tunes just sit really well in your hand, and this is one of those. It's also a tune I've been playing for years, one that I um, played really early on in my fiddle journey, so I'm very excited to get to share it with you. All right, let me play it for you first so you can hear how it goes. Fiddle Club, let's learn it. So um, we're gonna do this in classic Fiddle Club style. I'm gonna play something, you play it after. I love teaching tunes by ear because that's the way that I learned and I also think that's the way the tradition is really meant to be passed on. That's the way this music has worked for years and years and years and years. And I think that it's actually a really special way. That's how we all get to develop our own little versions of things. So I'll play a bar and then you play it after me. Okay, here's what it sounds like. Give that a try. No wrong notes here, just give it a try. Ready? And... Great, okay, next bar, my turn. Ready, play. Nice, my turn. The same as the first bar, ready? And... Great, okay, big change here. We're gonna go all the way up to the high G. Ready, go. Cool, all right. So we actually just have all of that again. And the great thing about fiddle tunes, if you're new to learning by ear, is that they're very repetitive. So we're gonna go through those same bars again, but they're exactly the same as we just had, okay? I'll go a little bit quicker this time. Ready? And my turn. Ready, go. Great, my turn. turn. Ready, go. Nice. My turn. Your turn. Great. My turn. Ooh, slight change there. See if you can catch that last note. The very, very last note was different that time. Ready, and... Yeah, if you caught that, it's just an E because when we play that the second time, we're actually moving to the B part and the B part starts on an F sharp. So it's just like our little connector phrase, our little note that's driving us on to the B part, which starts on an F sharp. Ooh, tongue twister. All right, so that's the whole A part. Let's try those two phrases together, nice and slow. Here we go from the top. One, Two, let's play together. Are you ready? So I play first, you listen, and then you play after. My turn. Ready, go. So what's happening there? It can be kind of tricky to catch those jumps. We're playing thirds. So jump down by a third from F sharp to D. 
and then we start on a G and jump down by a third to an E. Try those together with me, okay? Ready? Play. Yeah, cool. All right, so next we have one more of those F sharp <laughs> to D. And then we walk up. Your turn. Going on, my turn. Ready, play. Cool, nice job. Okay, next part, my turn. So lots of notes there, but we're moving pretty much in a scale. Your turn, ready, try. Okay, you have a chance to rewind and go back through that if you need to. Going on, this is all pretty much exactly the same. Again, so we have, just like we did in the A part, we have the same part almost exactly repeated, but just watch out for a couple tricks. All right, my turn. Your turn. Nice, okay, my turn. Ready, play. Yeah, okay, now here's where it gets a little bit hairy, a little different. Listen really closely, my turn first. Your turn. Nice, and going on, my turn. That should sound familiar. Ready? Go. Cool. All right, let's try putting that all together. And let me just take a quick second to say, if this feels really fast, it is because I'm pushing you, you can do it. Um, the best way to learn to play by ear is to just really force yourself to do it. So I'm giving you time for call and response here, but if anything's going too fast or you feel like, oh, I'm just not really getting that note quite yet, use YouTube as a resource for you. You can rewind and you can also slow things down if you need to play back at 25%, 50% to really make sure you're getting those notes. I say go for it. Do what makes this work for you. All right, let's put the B part together. Here we go from the top. One, two, ready, play. Walk up. Well done learning the notes and uh, I hope to see you back here really, really soon to practice some more of this tune. Don't forget to grab your Fiddle Club Pro kit so you get the sheet music and all of the practice and backing tracks to really set yourself up for success. All right, happy fiddling.